Uh, I have one more quick story for you guys. This one's going to be a short segment. Um, so I live in Pittsburgh, so that's why I wanted to talk about this. And I I am no fan of Bill Peduto, the Democrat mayor of Pittsburgh, uh, you know, who who who's getting some cool points because he's got a cool beard, you guys. Uh he's 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 the beardy mayor of of uh of Pittsburgh who likes more photo ops than actually to do anything worthwhile. Uh he 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 one of the things he said that really fucking pissed me off. Was he was like, oh, we have to means test UBI and if we're gonna do it in Pittsburgh, and I don't know if we're ready for that. I don't know if we're ready to means test. He he wants to means test means testing UBI in Pittsburgh. Just like, just fucking do it, man. Just fucking get it done. But uh, there's this whole budget restructuring thing that's happening, um, and he just increased the police budget by five point five percent. Uh. With no tax increase, which is incredible. He increases the police budget, and you got to go, well, where the fuck is that coming from? Um, he decreased the wages for the e, uh, for EMS, for paramedics, by 8%. Decreases the wages for firefighters by 9%. Uh, laborers and truck drivers that work for the city, right, public works, things of that sort, Got decreased by twenty three percent. So all of those went part of them, they went into taking care of police officers, uh, and then they also got a potential source of revenue from UPMC and Highmark, right, which are the two big uh, medical giants in the city of Pittsburgh. Now UPMC did get a bunch of grants. They got about a uh, billion dollars in loans and grants. Uh, so they're basically saying, oh, we'll use that to help fund the city. Uh, and as long as that involves, I guess, funding more for police officers, that's how he's getting away with not raising any taxes. He's getting he's getting corporate money. He's getting private money uh, to, to help the city budget. Uh, so, which, you know, kind of sounds nice, but then it's like, what do they want on the back end? For one, two, you, you came out in support of the Black Lives Matter movement. You came out in support of what they were saying, uh, you called out, oh, uh, these these uh, uh, unmarked vans that are um, uh, that are that are, uh, you know, hijacking people and so on and so forth. Well, they need to go. But then when it came down to actually reforming the police departments in Pittsburgh by defunding the police and reallocating that fund to social services, to medical services, to mental health services, you ignored it. There were protesters outside his house for days. There were protesters outside his house. And he came out. He did a little photo op with the with the leader of the protest. And then he closed the doors. The cops were called. and They violently attacked the protesters outside his house. So as far as photo ops go, this guy looks great. But he's really just a neoliberal piece of shit that's going to do neoliberal piece of shit stuff to the city of Pittsburgh. Like increase the police budget by 5.5% when the whole country is saying we need less money going to the police and more money going to social social services and taking care of the people in low-income neighborhoods. This dude is more interested in photo ops and his public image and PR than he is about doing his fucking job. Uh... So that's where that's where Pittsburgh is in this in this situation. Uh, clearly, clearly, this guy doesn't give a shit, much like any of the mayors. And there's an election coming up. Um, I don't want to see him reelected. I don't really know who the who the candidates are. In the race right now, I have not done my research on that based on everything going on or, uh, you know, some of the bigger stories to focus on. Uh, I do need to do my homework on it, and 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 I will. I'm always not awesome about keeping up with local politics uh, as I should be. So, um, yeah, uh, Holly's, uh, Holly's saying that Bill Peduto is performative. I, I agree there. 
Uh, New York City has 19 candidates for for mayor. Is is Andrew Yang still one of them? This is again, this is all the the these sort of stories that I hear, I see blip up, but you know, there's so much that goes on, and there's only so much I can cover at a time. Um, you know, so uh, local is where it is. I agree with you there. I need to. I, I really uh, want to <laughs> do better in, uh, in paying attention to local politics. Uh, it's it's hard to keep that balance. It's hard to keep that balance. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this content, uh, please make sure that you hit the like button, hit the share button, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel, whether it's on Rockfin, YouTube, or Facebook. Especially Facebook and YouTube, they often uncensor pe uh, un unsubscribe people and they censor this content. So if you want to keep up to date, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that bell button so you get notifications of when I'm putting up new videos and when I am going live. I usually go live uh, on uh, Fridays and on Mondays. Uh, and if you want more information about a, a bunch of the other stuff that I do, uh, whether it's my Forkful of Noodles podcast, the Taboo Table Talk interview podcast, or the Road Reflections live streams, uh, make sure you go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. There you'll find past episodes of, uh, of various shows that I, uh, that I do, as well as information about when I'll be performing live virtual comedy shows the forkful of noodles live virtual comedy shows uh the dates and tickets will be available directly on my website but if you're also on financial stable ground you can help contribute to the show financially by making a one-time donation or becoming a sustaining member which gets you free tickets and bonus content and go to krishmohanhaha.com slash donate to to make any kind of financial contributions but if you can't it's not a necessity most of my stuff is is available for free and for everybody to enjoy. So again, go to krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A. -H 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 -A, and I hope to see you at the next video.